Hello, uh, Mr. Benny Carter is here and he is running for Cherokee County District 3 Commissioner. I am Carrie Ludke and I am the first Vice Chair of the Cherokee County Republican Party and I would like to welcome everyone here to the Cherokee County Republican Party candidate interviews. Uh, we thank you for taking the time out of your campaign to participate in this process. We have extended this invitation to all candidates in this race and have sourced questions from various Republican memberships. We have found that it has been an asset in the past in helping voters to make their decisions. This video will appear on the Cherokee County Republican Party website. It will be shared on social media. The interview will be shown unedited in its entirety. No interview video will appear prior to any other one by itself, but all will be uploaded at the same time. During the interview, we will ask you a few questions, but can offer no prompting. There are no right or wrong answers, only your responses. Each candidate will be asked the same questions. If this is all right with you, I'll ask everyone on our panel to introduce themselves, and then we will begin. Harry Abrams. Cindy Abrams. Pat Wallace. And now we will begin with our first set of questions, and Pat is going to start. Mr. Carter. Why are you a Republican? Well, I think the Republican Party uh, values and uh, uh, processes and uh, priorities that they have align with mine. And uh, so I've uh, been a Republican all my life and uh, will continue to be, support that Republican Party. What Republican principles are most important to you? Uh, conservative uh, Christian values uh, and um, uh, the uh, opportunity to uh, pursue our uh, uh, American way of life. Of the, those Republican principles, what, if any, will you try to apply to this position? Well, definitely conservative uh, values, uh, values of, of integrity and ethics, of course, and uh, a servant heart. This is the four-part question. Are you a member of the CCRP? How many years? What years? And have you, are you, or have you ever been a member of any official affiliated Republican group such as the College Republicans, Teenage Republicans, or National Federation of Republican Women, C uh, Cherokee County Republican Women? As I stated earlier, I've been a Republican my entire life and have voted Republican, uh, but uh, only became involved in the Cherokee County Republican Party in 2016 uh, when I ran for my first position. I also became a party uh, a member of the uh, Cherokee County Women's uh, Republican Group at that time. Uh, I was not a part of any Republican organization prior to that. Have you ever served on a committee or chaired a committee in the CCRP or participated in as, as an event volunteer? No, I have not served on any committees um, and I'm not sure I've ever volunteered at a uh, particular event. How long have you lived in Cherokee County? I've lived in Cherokee County 18 years. Can you tell us about your education, work history, and family life? I'd be glad to. I'm originally from Knoxville, Tennessee, so I graduated from the University of uh, Tennessee at Knoxville with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. I uh, moved to Georgia over 40 years ago with uh, the Kroger Company. I'm a, a career Kroger man, spent 25 plus years as a store manager with Kroger and a couple of other positions. Uh, I moved to Macon, Georgia first, came back to Marietta, Georgia, and ultimately wound up in Cherokee County as I opened the uh, Town Lake Kroger store in 1997. My wife and I have been married for 48 years this year. We have three adult daughters and uh, four grandchildren, and I'm thankful that they're all still in Georgia, uh, in the Atlanta, greater Atlanta area. And um, did that get all the answers I'm supposed to? It did. It did indeed. If we look up your voting history, what would we see? You would see me voting uh, strictly uh, Republican for all the years I've been in Georgia. 
So, 40 years? Uh, I, I came to Georgia in uh, the 80s, so I don't know if that's, is that 40 years? <laughs> Almost. Almost. What is the current state of our county? I think our county is in good shape. And when I say that, it's, it's good shape financially. Uh, it's a great place to live, work, and play. Obviously, uh, we have some issues that we're going to have to address, and most of that has to do with development, growth, and all the things that come along with that, particularly traffic. So while we have some opportunities, I think that overall the state, uh, fiscal state of our county is in great shape. My last question, what aspects of limited government apply to our county commission? Say that again. What aspects of limited government would apply to the county commission? Well, I think the county commissioners are, are there to lead, guide, and direct, uh, not to be a, an overburden on businesses or residents. And uh, so I think that uh, limited government uh, would definitely apply to that area. As the county continues to evolve, what are the problems that need to be addressed? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, the development and the growth uh, we're having in the county, which we need to think of that as a positive. Uh, we're all here because we love the county and so do other people. But as a, a county commissioner, our, our challenge would be to manage and uh, have that growth come ab about responsibly to allow our uh, infrastructure, particularly our roads, our schools, our uh, other amenities and uh, public safety to grow with that. So um, I, think, uh, I think that's going to be the challenge. Okay. During the recent election cycle, the CCRP put information from the county sign ordinance out to our members. Without a doubt, the wording and content proved to be confusing. As individuals from various parties will continue to deal with this issue, will, would you be willing to propose a review to make it easier to understand? And are we talking about the sign ordinance? Mm -hmm. um, we are. I have not looked into that recently, but um, um, I would obviously be glad to look at it. It seems to me that the last time I looked at that, I thought it was a fair and reasonable ordinance, unless they have changed it since I looked at it. But obviously we could look at that. Okay. Noise will continue to increase as the population does. Is this an area of concern? If not immediately, at least one that should be continuously reviewed? I think so, and I think that falls under the county commissioners as as they set ordinances and rules and laws. We've got to think about that as we continue to grow and, and particularly as we get into residential areas to be sure we uh, monitor that and uh, provide the uh, guidelines and directions and, and controls of that so that we can control that noise. Okay. What can be further done by the commission to spur economic development in creating jobs? Well, we got a great uh, opportunity to work with the Cherokee County uh, uh, Office of Economic Development. That's their particular focus. So we want to continue to have a good relationship with them, support them, and I think we are currently supporting them even financially. So we, we want to work through them. We want to make sure we have areas of, um, that are ready for economic growth and development, such as business parks and areas that we are encouraging business to come into. And then the other side of that will simply be workforce development. Uh, when a, a company comes into our county, they not only want a place to have their business, they want to make sure they have the manpower there to, to fit it. So I think we've got to work with our uh, technical schools, we've got to work with our high schools, and we've got to make sure we've got a educated, trained, and qualified workforce to meet those needs as we go forward. Okay. Do you know what the current operational budget for the county is? I knew you were going to ask me that, but uh, uh, I think it's a, about $160 million, but uh, I'd, I wouldn't want to start saying numbers without uh, that. Okay. What items in the county budget do you feel need most scrutiny? Well, as a, 
as a Kroger store manager, that was something I did on a monthly, annual basis, and so I'm, I'm very conscious of how you do that. And I think simply every year you take a look at that budget, you take a look at the expenditures, and I always start with the largest ones first and uh, review those and see how and when we could do a better job of uh, controlling them or modifying them. And so I would think we would do that annually, and uh, that's what I would do without, without naming a particular item. I would always start with the largest first and, and uh, review those. Okay. Do you have experience in preparing and or implementing budgets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, not only with Kroger, as again, as a store manager, that was a primary part of my responsibility to make an annual budget and to monitor that weekly. And then uh, as I left Kroger uh, in uh, 2002, one of the things I wanted to do was work in Cherokee County, and I've been fortunate enough to do that. My last position was a business administrator for First Baptist Church of Canton, and my first duty when I came in there was to set the budget. So, yes, I'm very familiar with that. Okay. Would you consider having in-house legal counsel as a benefit in controlling legal expenses? I think that's always an option, but I think you have to be very careful. Um, you cannot say in a blanket uh, form that in-house counsel is the most effective and efficient way to go. I think currently we use an outside uh, legal uh, team, but we also have an in-house, and uh, I'm not sure that that's not a, a good option to have uh, some in-house, but you're going to probably always have to go out for specialized uh, counsel. Uh, are you familiar with Cherokee County's organization chart, and which, which departments reporting to the Board of Commissioners are you best prepared to work with? Well, I'm, I'm interested in parks and recreation, of course. Uh, I've dealt uh, with uh, senior services a lot uh, as a volunteer, so I have a, I have a uh, interest in the senior services group. Uh, I always uh, am interested in what we're doing in infrastructure with roads and bridges, so probably those three would be the, thing, the three I'd be most interested in. Okay. Uh, $426.46 is a per capita long-term debt that the county says it has control over. However, the county makes no attempt to break this down into what constitutes th this debt. Do you believe in itemizing such figures to make clear what the individual areas are? I think so. Uh, I at this point, I would see no reason we couldn't uh, look at that and break that down unless it has something to do with uh, person, personnel numbers or, or something like that. I would, I would see no reason we couldn't uh, break that debt down to where we could uh, evaluate it. Are you in favor of commission, <coughs> commission co-signing for liabilities of private companies? No, uh, and I think uh, something... Uh, I spent uh, three years with the city of Canton as city manager, and that's one thing I remember from that time is that public officials should not encumber the citizens for uh, debt over a long term. And uh, so, no, I would not be in favor of signing that. The state legislature operates year-round, not only in the three months of the first of each year. At some time in the third or fourth quarter of the preceding year, the legislators meet with the county commission to discuss items to be brought up before the state legislature. Would you be in favor of having public notice of these earlier meetings uh, open to the public and publicized locally? I think any time as a commissioner that I could uh, hear from the citizens of the county uh, would be good. Uh, what, whether I'm uh, going to meet with a legislative group or, or anything, any time I could take input uh, from the citizens, I think that would be good and be wise. And so, yes, I'd be in favor of that. For continuing solutions to the traffic and infrastructure issues attended to growth, do you support the regional approach such as, such as the Atlanta Regional Commission or another method of dealing with these issues? Well, I think we've always got to be uh, aware of the regional issues and the regional initiatives that are going on. And when I say that, I'm not talking about particularly Atlanta, but we've got to be uh, aware of what Cobb's doing, what Bartow's doing, what Forsyth County's doing as far as it comes to traffic. We know that our major roads, our major traffic opportunities are state roads, and so we've got to work with those state agencies and, 
and continue to uh, have a dialogue with them, continue to um, push for that uh, improvement of, of those state roads. So when I talk about regional cooperation, that's what I'm talking about, not so much Atlanta as, as I am neighboring uh, counties as well as state uh, agencies. Rezoning from rural to moderate or high density D has been an issue and will continue to be one within Cherokee County. How will you view recommendations coming from the zoning board? We've got a new uh, land use map that was just recently approved this year and I think if we take that plan and follow it uh, within the county uh, that is a way that you can cr control the density which in, in turn controls the growth of the county so that would be my intent to follow that uh, land use plan to the best of my ability. The other issue of course is the cities uh, and uh, so we've got to build and work with them and uh, try to get some continuity between uh, county property that comes up to city uh, lines and get some type of agreement with them. The zoning issue will arise in numerous fashions and particularly in regard to cities within the county. Do you have any initiatives in mind to address these mutual concerns? I think we've got to keep uh, lines of communication open and uh, that goes from uh, the elected officials, that is the commissioners or the mayors and the uh, uh, city council people to keep that communication going open as well as encouraging our staff to work together, the zoning of the cities and the zoning of the, the county and then uh, just challenging them to make this a better county and uh, I think we've made some progress in that. Uh, we've still got some opportunities and that will be an ongoing issue. Uh, that will take a lot of work, communication, and uh, dedication. As we move into the final questions, have you or any organization under your control declared a bankruptcy, been sued, or having liens or other financial issues? No. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime other than traffic offenses? No. Have you ever been cited for professional discipline, breach of ethics, or unprofessional conduct by any administrative agency or other professional group? No. Okay. I'd like to just make this comment again and state that no interview video will appear prior to any other one by itself, but all will be uploaded at the same time. We'd like to thank you for your participation, and right now we would like to offer you the opportunity to address our panel and the viewers with your comments. Well, thank you uh, so much for putting on this forum and, and for inviting me. I do appreciate that. I appreciate what each of you do, both the Republican Party and the, the women's group. I know you've been very active o over the past three years that I've been involved, and I appreciate that. Uh, I do think um, I can uh, bring my uh, business experience uh, and my conservative values to the commission post and that will, uh, I look forward to serving the county in that area uh, as we move Cherokee County forward. So thank you very much.